Good morning. This, I think, is day four of my isolation and I continue to report that I only have mild symptoms. I do not have a high temperature, I do not have a cough and I have not lost my sense of taste or smell. It's a very wet day. It was raining all night and I enjoyed listening to the sound of the rain in my bed. It looks like my bean plants are losing their leaves now for autumn. I'm running a bath. Can you hear that rain? It is torrential out there. It's a very cosy time to be in, isolating. I'm sitting here thinking, how on earth am I gonna make these vlogs interesting now? Stuck at home for days. <laughs> I'm all buffed and dressed now. What a murky day, it's so grey out there. <laughs> Never mind, I'm feeling really not bad at all. I think I'm feeling better than yesterday actually, which is really good. I've got a few phone calls to make to do with gigs, so I'm gonna crack on with that now. It's about three o'clock now, I'm gonna stop for lunch. I've been doing gig admin actually. I've been making a couple of phone calls and I've been sending an email or two in fact and contacting somebody else about a booking and yeah I definitely need to eat something now though. Well I've been cooking all this and um, speaking to my boyfriend on the phone. He rang me and uh, yeah he's just come off now. Whoa. He was um, saying about the fuel issue because he needs to drive a lot as part of his work long distances and uh, he's feeling the squeeze he is. There's my din din, so I'm gonna go and tuck into that now. Oh, and before I forget, I'm feeling better again, even more than earlier. That stomach discomfort that I had that's been going on for days, it's just evaporated, it's gone. And it's as if like a heaviness has just evaporated off. I don't know how that could make me feel as if I was being weighed down and everything's a bit more of an effort, but it's gone and I'm really very fortunate to say that I'm doing fine. <laughs> just a little bit mm, still. I'm back up in my room again. I had my lunch, followed by a Palmer Violet ice lolly. And then I had to ring the dentist because I have a dentist appointment. Well, I had a dentist appointment on Monday, but my isolation doesn't end until midnight <laughs> that night. So I had to rearrange that. I've got some other stuff to do. Oh yeah, you know, um, I got contacted by Track and Trace by telephone in yesterday's vlog, <laughs> which is my yesterday right now. But they sent a text afterwards that I had to like do this questionnaire thingy and I did it all there was one bit where I hit the back button I filled it in and I thought did I read that properly so I went back and checked and it's fine and then I went back and finished it all and then later on I had another text saying we see you didn't finish your questionnaire please click this to complete it and I thought oh I did finish it must be a mistake and then didn't think about it again until today and now I'm thinking I should probably do it because nobody's rung me or contacted me so that's what I'm going to do next, see if I can reactivate the link, but I got a feeling it expired at midnight last night, but I'll give it a go anyway. I'm feeling sleepy again. All that stuff about feeling 100%, well, I'm still feeling fine, but I'm feeling tired. I feel like I could go to sleep now. <laughs> but I think, in part, it could be just because I'm moving so sluggishly compared to usual. I think just not getting your adrenaline up can make you feel tired, so it could just be that, I don't know. Oh, this weather though, so grey out. Well, the simple answer to that was, I think the code expired, it won't accept it. Oh well, I don't know what they're going to tell me anyway, because we've been through this before, so... They know where I am, they can get in touch if they like. I am going to have a sleep again. I keep thinking about all the things I'd quite like to do. I'd like to learn some Portuguese, I'd like to do some editing. I'd like to look at my Portugal book. That's got to go back this week, I'll have to uh, renew it by phone, won't I? But of all the things I keep thinking about how I'd like to do it, I just feel too tired to do any of them. So I'm going to have a hopefully quick nap, and hopefully... It's not three hours, uh, so I'll see you when I wake up. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I didn't sleep. I laid down for about an hour and ten minutes and 
nearly fell asleep a lot of times but there was just so much noise in the street i wanted to keep the windows open because i was enjoying listening to the rain but every so often somebody would shout to somebody else across the road and then they'd shout back and so on and so forth uh, such is the nature of where i live uh, which is very nice when you're not having a nap um but anyway i'm gonna get up and do a bit of editing i think and make coffee well, I made coffee, well, I heated up some leftover coffee from earlier and drank it whilst editing and um, I'm really tired. I feel a bit sick again now as well. Uh, that's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> so many lovely, fun things to do in my life. Well, fun to me. I just don't quite have the energy for them. Hello, darling. Can I turn the... Uh heating on please the heating it's really cold oh if you must yeah it hasn't been on yet this autumn Thank you. that's izzy getting cold i've actually got my windows open though i'm not cold i've got a big fluffy yeti jumper on though and fluffy socks what is that doing how have i got another sock on my foot i i don't even know how that got there and i didn't know it was there until i put the camera on it that's just bizarre and contemplating giving up for the evening and just watching some vlogs in bed. I was doing Quizlet earlier, very first thing I did when I got up and um, I found a new channel that I've been really liking to learn some Portuguese from on YouTube called On The Streets by a, I think an English lady who has become fluent in Portuguese and taken up teaching Portuguese and uh, yeah it's very interesting because of course people that have learned it themselves as a second language they kind of got a different slant on things than the native speakers of the language when they teach it because the ones that have had to learn it themselves know all the pitfalls all the common misapprehensions and misassumptions that you make and she just knew from bitter experience of having to sink or swim and struggle with the language herself yes yeah, so very good so i've been good so far and i've been getting lots of bits and bobs to put in my flashcard app so i was enjoying that but i just don't feel quite uh up to it now i think i'm just gonna blob out for a bit and Speak to you later. Now, over the next few weeks, we'll be rolling out bottom navigation. Currently only available on the YouTube main Bottom app. navigation? I've got out of bed and uh, I'm on the search for food. I'm going to have that other ready meal. Isabel apparently has already had us. <laughs> oh well, just me eating then. That keeps jamming. That is smelling good. It dinged. Smells pretty good. I'm kind of feeling a bit queasy again, which probably isn't the best <laughs> thing right before eating, but never mind. I think I must make my portions too small, you know, because whenever I get a ready meal and just put it in a bowl, it looks like a really small amount. But I'm sure it's like, you know, calorie counted to be the right amount. I ate, that was actually quite nice and it's perked me up a little bit, it's perked me up mentally at least. Um, I've decided I'm not going to edit this evening, which is very unusual. I'm going to do it in the morning. No, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening lounging around in my bed and resting and learning some Portuguese <laughs> as well because I'm really in the mood for it. I really want to just have a big bingey tackle of it because uh, my class is going to start next week, my online class, very excited for that. Anyway. I'm not going to film any more this evening, but if you've enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a like? It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.